All right, let's talk about similar polygons. So I got <clears throat> two quadrilaterals there, and I gave you two sides for each. And in order for polygons to be similar, they have to be proportional. So there's more than one way to do this. So I could do, you know, the left side over the slanted side. So that'd be 8 over 12, and then 10 over 15. Not the only way to set this up. I could do, you know, the left side over the left side equals the slanted side over the slanted side. The, the key to this is just making sure you, you're using corresponding sides. So if I did left to slanted, I have to do left to slanted on the second one. If I did left over left or small over big, I have to do small over big. In any way you do it, you'll notice when we cross multiply, we're going to multiply the same number. So I got 8 times 15 and 12 times 10. My other one, I have 8 times 15 and 12 times 10. So you'll notice I'm multiplying the same number. So either way, I'm going to get 12 times 10 is 120. 8 times 15, 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 5 is 40. 80 plus 40 is 120. So those are equal. So those polygons are similar. Alright, so let's do two more figures here. So I got two triangles here. And based on the pictures there, we know these triangles <clears throat> are both isosceles, but we don't know if they're similar. We have to test that. So set up our proportion. Let's say we had 6 over 9 equals 10 over 15. So I did the bottom to either of the other sides. I could test this by reducing. That's another way to do this. So 6 over 9, you can divide those both by 3, which would give me 2 thirds. 10 over 15, I can divide both those by 5. So 5 divided by 10 is 2. Five, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So I get 2 thirds. So they are similar. And the reason I showed you that way on this one is because we need to write a similarity statement. So if I said triangle A, B, C. So I started at A, went to B, ended at C. Is similar to... I would have to start at D, go to E, down to F. So ABC is similar to DEF. And then the second part of that is giving the scale factor. So you have to say the scale factor. So since my similarity statement is ABC to DEF, I have to take that same ratio. So I have to say it's 6 to 10, which when we reduce that is 2 thirds. So my scale factor there is 2 thirds. If I had reduced or if I had um, reversed my similarity statement and I said DEF is similar to ABC, then I'd have to redu reverse my scale factor and make it 3 over 2. All right, so I got two triangles here and I'm given triangle DFG is similar to HKM. So based on knowing that they're similar, we can start finding some missing things here. But first, we'll start with the sides. So um, let's find what the ratio is. So I know two sides. I know these bottom two sides, 18 and 30. So I got DFG over HKM. So that'd be 30 over 18. You can divide both those by 6, which would be 5 over 3. So if I wanted to find uh, DG here, that would be 5 thirds equals, well we don't know DG, and that goes on top, so let's just call it, we'll call it DG, that's what we're looking for, e over 15. So you just think 3 times 5 is 15, so 5 times 5 is 25, so DG would be 25. We could cross multiply and divide there, which isn't wrong. It just, um, I could reason that out without having to do that. And then let's find uh, MK. So I still have that same ratio. 5 over 3 equals, now I know the top number, which is 27 and a half over MK. Because that's what I'm looking for. Normally you would just put one variable there, but I'm trying to see, show you that we're looking for the side MK. Well here, there's nothing easily um, multiplied in my head 
that gets me 27 and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply here. So I'm going to do 3 times 27 and a half and get 82 and a half equals 5 times line MK. So divide that by 5 and I get MK equals uh, 16 and a half. And while we're working, let's go ahead and find the angle. So D corresponds to H, so that has to be 59 degrees. G corresponds to M, so that has to be 70 degrees. So I just need to find that last one. So 70 plus 59 is going to give me 129. And then I do 180 minus 129 to give me 51 degrees. So F is 51 degrees and K is 51 degrees. Oh, I didn't put my 16 and a half here. So now I got all my sides, lengths, and I have all my angle measures.